Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Mr. Cuccinelli, you um, indicated that there is no sort of um, <clears throat> after action report for criminals who engage in violence. Um, I think actually there is, and it's what Ms. Cox does. Um, and I wish both of you well in bringing to justice people who have done harm to law enforcement officers. Um, with respect to lasers, I actually am the person who wrote and passed a law to protect pilots yes. from uh, the dangers of laser attacks from the ground, um, which had begun to pop up as a strange thing to want to do, um, but there it is. Um, I think you both agree that we do hold our law enforcement personnel to a far higher standard than we expect the general public to adhere to. Is that correct? Certainly is a professional matter, yes. Yes, it is. And very often law enforcement personnel are engaging with people during um, what they would probably look back on and see as one of the worst times of their lives, when they are upset, when they are emotional, when they are perhaps intoxicated. Um, and so the conduct that law enforcement officers customarily must face is often inappropriate conduct, is it not? That's it fair. is. And being prepared and trained to deal with that is part of what a good law enforcement officer does. Is that also correct? Certainly. Yes. Okay. So walk me through, in the light, Mr. Cuccinelli, of your testimony that there are protesters and there are rioters. There is peaceful protesting and there is violence and terrorism. And that the federal officers you supervised here were trained, to use your words, trained in the conduct of appropriate tactics and procedures. You and I have both seen the footage. I assume you've seen it a good deal more than I have, given your professional responsibilities, of a tall individual wearing a gray Navy or maybe Naval Academy sweatshirt who is, in the clip that I've seen, standing relatively immobile. His hands are down by his sides. He's not in any sort of an aggressive or combative stance. Um, and he is one. And around him are perhaps half a dozen, maybe more, off the screen, um, officers in essentially combat gear. And one of them engages in a strike with his baton. And if my recollection of the film is correct, a second strike, and then a third. And the individual who's being struck does not react, and yet the strikes keep coming. Walk me through why that standing individual was a rioter engaged in violence and terrorism, and why that conduct by that officer was appropriate. Yeah, I'm not prepared to characterize Chris David that way. Um, that is obviously under investigation, but um, uh, I, I would not characterize What's under Chris investigation? David. The That interaction, that use of force. I mean, that that's a subject of, of an IG investigation. An IG investigation? Yes, sir. But not any other investigation? Well, I have to defer. This is a, a U.S. Marshal, so we, I, I don't have a, I have not interviewed those folks. I can't I actually tell very well who is who from these films because they're all wearing similar garb and it's often very hard to find out without being very close who they report to or what the uniform is. So forgive me if I don't know the difference. But Ms. Cox, could you explain how that is conduct? I mean, you're, you'll concede that his, Mr. David's conduct in that clip at least was not that of a rioter and was not violent terrorist conduct. Uh, Senator, I know that that incident in particular is, is under investigation by the IG as well as an internal investigation with the U.S. Marshal Service. Okay. And and I I don't have any more facts about what was happening before or during that. Those facts will be developed in the investigation, and I don't want my comments to affect that at all. Yeah. It's... Um it looks very much like a person who is standing very still, 
and being as harmless as he can be, and who is alone surrounded by officers whose garb is a sweatshirt compared to tactical gear, who has no weapon compared to pepper spray, mace, whatever they have, as well as the batons, and who takes a pretty damned hard beating, all things considered. And I think it's episodes like that that cause legitimate concern, um, particularly in light of the all-important standard that we know as people who've spent time in law enforcement, um, members of law enforcement have to adhere to. Thank you.